Hi, I'm Liza, I'm a parent, and this is my two minute tip. With the number of kids and teens struggling with depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, and more, one of the greatest truths that you can remember in your parenting and to communicate to them time and time again is that in Christ, their value and worth are priceless. It's heartbreaking to see so many kids and teenagers struggle to not feel that they're valued or that their worth is priceless. So here's two quick examples of ways that you can remember it. I'm sure your children growing up probably had that lovey, that thing that they needed to have their security blanket. Maybe it was an actual little blanket or a stuffed animal. In the case of one of our kids, it's the Lammy. And Lammy was one of our daughter's loveys and still is. And it communicates value to her by spending quality and quantity time with this. Lovey went everywhere. Or Lammy went everywhere and is with her all the time. She treated him specially. She takes him special places. She dresses him up. And so in the same way, like your children's loveys, you can communicate value by spending quality and quantity time with your child. Yes, it's quality and quantity. They want to have that time just time over and over again, but they also need that quality time where you're focused and giving them your best. And I'm sure that your kids also have that thing that they live, breathe, eat, and sleep. They talk about it all the time and it's the focus of their undying attention. For our son, it is Pokemon. Now your child probably loves to talk about something. And so your child will know when he or she is priceless when you talk positively to and about him or her. So let me explain. Obviously our son, when he loves Pokemon, talks positively about it. He shares great experiences and gets excited at the possibility. So in the same way, if you're gonna be talking about your kids, talk about them positively to other people. Otherwise, if you're talking negatively about your children to other people, they'll eventually hear it and they'll have that sense of embarrassment, insecurity, and distrust. And in the same way that embarrassment, insecurity, and distrust will get bred when you talk negatively to your child. It ends up being more about you and your frustrations in the end. So think about the way that you use your words and how you can best communicate how you spend your time and the things that you say so that your kids know that they are valued and worth so very much. They are priceless in Christ. <laughs>